I'm good. How are you? Doing fine. Um, we'll uh, basically just go through a handful of questions here, and uh, we'll get you out of here in a couple minutes. Uh, we are leading off today with Jacob Turner. So, Jacob, unmute yourself and go ahead. Hey, Kyler, what's going on, man? Um, quick question for you. We really haven't been able to talk to you, obviously, since you arrived in, in Chapel Hill last year. But just kind of curious as to what, you know, the past year has been like for you in transition to Carolina and, and just kind of how that whole process has been for you personally. Well, um, I felt like that year off was actually a good year for me so I can get, you know, acclimated to the defense of doing here. So I, that whole year I was on a scout team. But at the same time, I was also in the meeting room with the DBs. So just being able to understand the defense, um, and getting a chance to watch. You know, I was still supportive. Of course, I wish I was out there able to play, but I felt like it was a good year for me. And one more question. Um, it, for people who don't know, maybe haven't seen you play, what, what type of corner are you? What, what, what are some you know, character traits of your game that you try to, try to bring out there on the football field? Um, I definitely try to be physical. Um, I'm, I'm a bigger corner. Uh, I do consider myself to be very fast, so I feel like I can run with anybody. But just a, a big, fast, fast physical corner, so. Sweet. Thanks, man. Sir. Okay, over to Greg Barnes. Hey, Kyler. How is the competition battle going at cornerback thus far? It's, I mean, it's, it's very – a lot of good corners. You know, me, Storm, Treese, um, Day Day, and um, even Tony Grimes coming in. He's going to – I feel like he's going to get a lot of minutes this year. But it, it's, it's a very competitive room. Um, of course, we have players who played a lot last year. We have Treese who – it's been a starter since he's been here. So um, it, it's a competitive room for sure. Jay Bateman talks a lot about the need for versatility. Has there been any conversation with you possibly moving inside to nickel at times? Um, no, there hasn't been any conversation about that. We have a, we have a million good nickels right now. But um, I feel like it's important to, of course, master both sides, both field and boundary corner. That's going to be important when the time comes. But um, – we have, we're, we're pretty solid at a lot of the position groups in the secondary. Are you more comfortable at field or boundary right now? Um, I, I have boundary down. I'm still learning field. Uh, but I, I definitely say I'm, I'll be comfortable with both pretty soon. Thanks, Kyle. Okay, right, next up, Andrew Jones. Uh, when you were looking to leave Clemson, what was it about this program that kind of inspired you to sign on with them, even though there really wasn't a whole lot that you were able to see as far as what they'd done on the field or anything else. It was still a new regime. I definitely, um, I saw the potential with the group. Um, I saw the coaches that they brought in. I was a, a huge fan of Dre Bly and Mac Brown coming into it, and even Coach Bateman. Um, I saw the, the recruits they brought in. I knew Sam Howell was going to be a baller when he came in. Um, so I, I definitely saw the potential with the group, and I, I knew that – it was going to be a building process last year, and you definitely saw the um, process they made from the year before. I feel like it's going to be a great year this year. And I also had – I'm sorry, what? No, go ahead. So, so um, I, I felt like I would be able to come in and get comfortable pretty quick just based on the, the amount of people I knew here. Were there, so, any, pr were there any prior relationships that you had with anybody in the program or around the program that kind of helped make you more comfortable about making that transition? Definitely. Um, I actually went to – High school with Trey Morris, and number four. Um, he definitely was a he was an influential factor in getting me here. Cool, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, over to Ross Martin. Hey, Kyler. Why did you decide to leave Clemson? I just felt like my um, relationship there with the coaches wasn't as well off as it would have been, you know, somewhere else. So, I mean, I have nothing against the, the program at all. It's a great program, but I just felt like I would be more comfortable in a, like the position I'm in right now here at UNC. So I definitely like my relationship with coaches here a lot. Cool. And you, you mentioned Tony Grimes. I mean, obviously he's a big time recruit. Can you speak to a little bit about what he brings? So we haven't seen him play and he's so young and, and I, a lot of fans are interested in what he can do at UNC. I mean, it's, it's one very impressive how he was able to, you know, skip a whole year of high school and come up to college right away and, you know, get going. Um, he's definitely a quick learner. He, he's adapting, adapting really well, uh, getting the technique down, you know, just adjusting to the speed of the college level. So I got, I got to give that to him. Does he, I mean, is it pretty clear that he's an elite prospect? Does he stand out in what he can do athletically and physically? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like in high school, he definitely would have been dominating here. 
he, he's a quick learner, like I said, so he's going to get it down really quick. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, back over to Greg Barnes. Kyler, uh, you mentioned a, a bigger body there at cornerback. Dre Bly told us a couple months ago uh, that you were built like Herschel Walker. Uh, I, I'm curious, uh, is that kind of part of your personality, playing corner, that you, you want to be physical with the, uh, with the wide receivers? Uh, definitely. I mean, now in college, you see six foot four, six foot five receivers. So I feel like it's definitely necessary to have a bigger corner out there guarding them. So. If I'm able to be physical with that type of receiver, um, I feel like I can definitely shut down the side of the field. With a with a coach like Dre Bly, um, who you know he speed, but also he he was able to be physical with, during his playing days. What have you been able to learn from him that kind of fits your skill set? Um, definitely the importance of ball skills. You know, he he wants more than just a a physical cover corner. He wants somebody who's going to be able to make plays on the ball and you know eventually. You know, interceptions, pick sixes, all that. So just, um, you know, just listening to him, understanding the game a little more, being able to, you know, just like I said, make, make plays on the ball. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Keely Arthur, I know you want to, uh, if you just want to unmute yourself and go ahead. All right. Thank you. Uh, just curious to shift the conversation a little bit. Obviously, the major conferences now saying that they're gonna at least wait until the spring. How are you feeling um, right now in terms of your own safety and the safety? Um, I can definitely say here, we're taking all the right precautionary measures when it comes to you know, wearing a mask at all times, just being sanitary throughout the facility, even on campus at school. Uh, as you know, we started back school on Monday and I haven't seen a kid without a mask on campus yet, so. I feel like um, we'll definitely we'll definitely be able to take all the precautionary measures and be safe while we're out here. So it's, we're just trying to figure out whether or not we're gonna for sure have a season yet. Yeah, I know that's nerve wracking. With the just one more question with the players in the Big Ten and some of the positive COVID tests, um, I'm sure does that hit a little close to home, or how do you kind of get your mind right to to not worry about that? Um, of course, it's always uh, it's a worry with us, but um, I feel like I feel like as a group, we'll be fine. We just you know stay stay determined to you know just take all the precautionary measures. But I feel like I feel like we'll we'll be good, honestly. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mark Armstrong. We'll, uh, this will be the last one for Kyler today. Hey, yeah, Kyler. Kind of along the same lines, we've heard a lot of coaches around the ACC talk about the mental roller coaster. This is putting their players on. Can you describe that in your own words about being so aware of the news cycle and what's happening elsewhere and hoping against hope that you guys get to play? Honestly, we're, we're figuring things out by the, by the hour. So um, at home, of course, I'm trying to stay up to touch with everything, you know, just looking at the news and staying aware of what all is happening. But uh, I feel like, I feel like I just need to keep my head down, keep working, just stay prepared. And as a group, we need to definitely stay prepared because, you know, they could easily come back and say we're going to have a season this year. So we just want to be ready. So three weeks from now, we'll be ready to play Syracuse. Cool. Kyler, thanks so much for your time today.